Hello and welcome back to my channel. I have been gone for a very long time at this point and I'm very sorry about that. I didn't mean to be away for this long but uh as the title suggests I was in the middle of Hurricane Ida. So basically I went down to New Orleans to help my girlfriend take care of her dog little Stella. Uh, I went down to watch her a little while f while she was recovering from surgery and I was meant to be down there for about a week or two. After a few days of being down there, um, we started to hear about a hurricane that was gonna hit New Orleans again. Um, I lived in Florida, so it wasn't really that big of a deal, but, uh, you know, still kind of sucks. So, being in the middle of New Orleans with another hurricane, uh, a hurricane that I would like to point out, Ida was actually more powerful of a hurricane hitting New Orleans than Hurricane Katrina. The city did a much better job handling flooding and all of that kind of stuff, but it was still uh, not fun. Basically, the electricity went out, um, everything around the city got flooded, so they couldn't get fuel trucks in, they couldn't get food in, and... Uh, the electricity being off meant no AC, and it was extremely hot every single day and night, and it was just not a whole lot of fun. All in all, I'm alive now and safe, and the city's getting back to normal. Everything's fine. All in all, not that bad, but it definitely was not fun. So, of course, that brings us to today where I am going to be expressing the misery that I endured during the hurricane to you so that you can understand how I felt. And the best way that I know how to do that is through People Playground. This is gonna be fun. So when the hurricane came through, it came with quite a bit of wind. It's, you know, it's obviously a hurricane. Uh, and that actually resulted in a couple of buildings being knocked over. Kind of like that. That that would have to be a pretty good representation of what happened. The wind also caused one of the main power lines to fall into the river. Um, <laughs> yeah, and that ended up knocking out power for the entire city. When the tower fell into the water, it caused electrical surges that uh, resulted in some of the buildings to actually burn down. Here we go. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, it caused some of the buildings to uh, burn down. Not many, but some of them. Because there was no power, because the electrical lines fell into the Mississippi River, there was no air conditioning, so things got extremely hot. Basically about like this. Maybe add in a little bit of that. That's, that's about right. That's how it felt. Because there was no electricity, there was no TV, no computers, no internet, nothing but crushing boredom. I did a puzzle. A puzzle. I hope that you've survived today's video about surviving a hurricane. I'm going to be back to making videos, kind of as normal, um, as normal as I make videos. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.